Welcome, beer enthusiasts. Today we are going on a journey through time to explore the rich history of ancient beers and how they have evolved into the modern craft beers we know and love. We will also delve into the revival of ancient brewing techniques and ingredients and how they are influencing today's beer culture. So grab a cold one and let's get started. Beer is one of the oldest beverages produced by humans, dating back thousands of years. The earliest evidence of beer production can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamia, around 5000 BC. The Sumerians who inhabited this region even had a goddess of beer named Ninkasi. They believed that beer was a gift from the gods, and it played a central role in their daily life and religious ceremonies. The Sumerians documented their brewing process on clay tablets, which are considered to be the world's oldest beer recipes. The ancient beers were quite different from what we drink today. They were often thick, with a consistency similar to porridge. The primary ingredients were grains such as barley, wheat, and sometimes even corn. The grains were mashed and mixed with water, and then allowed to ferment. The natural yeast in the air would facilitate fermentation. Hops were not used in ancient beers. Instead, they used a mix of herbs and spices to add flavor. This mixture was known as groot. As civilizations grew and trade routes expanded, the art of brewing beer spread across the globe. The Egyptians continued the tradition of brewing and even used beer as a form of currency for laborers, particularly those who built the pyramids. The knowledge of brewing passed on to the Greeks and Romans, although they were more famous for their wines. Let's begin by traveling to ancient China, where one of the oldest known beer recipes was discovered. Archaeologists found pottery vessels dating back to 7000 BC with residues of a beer made from barley, millet, tubers, and Job's tears. This discovery suggests that China was one of the earliest regions to produce barley-based beer. Moving to the Nordic region, the Vikings were known for their love of ale. They brewed beer using a variety of grains, including barley, oats, and rye. They also used a brewing stick to transfer yeast from one batch to another. The Vikings believed that this stick was magical, but in reality, it was a primitive yet effective way to ensure fermentation. In Africa, traditional beers were made from millet, sorghum, and maize. Umkombothi, a traditional beer in South Africa, is made from maize and malted sorghum. It has a rich, smoky flavor and is still popular today. Fast forward to the Middle Ages in Europe, where beer brewing took on new dimensions. Monasteries became the centers for brewing as monks brewed beer within the monastery walls. It was during this time that hops were introduced as an ingredient in beer. Hops not only added flavor, but also acted as a preservative, allowing beer to be stored for longer periods. In 1516, the Duke of Bavaria introduced the Reinheitsgebot, also known as the Beer Purity Law. This law allowed only barley, water, and hops to be used in the brewing of beer. This was a turning point in the history of beer, as it set the standard for modern brewing. Now, let's jump to the late 20th century, where a revolution in beer brewing began, the craft beer movement. This movement was characterized by small-scale breweries focusing on quality, flavor, and traditional brewing methods. The craft beer movement brought with it a renewed interest in ancient beers and brewing techniques. Brewers began to look back in time for inspiration, they started experimenting with ancient ingredients like herbs, spices, and different grains. Some even ventured into using wild yeast strains for fermentation, similar to the ancients. Dogfish Head Brewery, for example, created a beer called Midas Touch, which is based on ingredients found in a 2700-year-old drinking vessel from the tomb of King Midas. Modern craft brewers are not just reviving ancient beers, but also giving them a contemporary twist, they are experimenting with flavors, ingredients, and brewing techniques to create unique beers. For example, using oak barrels for aging or incorporating exotic fruits and spices. This has led to an explosion of diversity in beer styles and flavors. Today, brewing ancient beers is not just an art, it's also a science. Archaeologists and microbiologists are working together with brewers to analyze residues from ancient pottery to identify the ingredients and yeast strains used in ancient beers. This scientific approach helps in accurately recreating ancient recipes and understanding the evolution of brewing techniques. Understanding the chemistry and microbiology behind brewing is essential for recreating ancient beers. Yeast, for example, plays a critical role in fermentation. 
By analyzing the yeast strains from ancient residues, scientists can understand the flavors and characteristics of ancient beers. Moreover, the water quality and mineral content also affect the taste of the beer. Modern brewers often adjust the water profile to mimic the historical water sources. Ancient beers hold cultural significance. They tell stories of ancient civilizations, their agriculture, trade, and daily life. By reviving ancient beers, we are also reviving a part of history. For instance, chicha, a traditional beer from South America made from corn, has been brewed for thousands of years. Modern breweries making chicha often follow the traditional method, which includes chewing the corn to break down the starches. This not only creates a unique product, but also connects us to the cultural practices of ancient civilizations. As we look to the future, the possibilities are endless. With the craft beer movement showing no signs of slowing down, and with continuous innovations and experiments, ancient beers will continue to inspire modern brewers. The integration of technology, such as using AI to create new recipes or optimizing the brewing process, is also on the horizon. However, the heart of brewing remains rooted in its rich history. Several modern breweries are embracing ancient recipes and techniques. Avery Brewing Company in Colorado has a series of beers called Ales of Antiquity, where they recreate ancient beers from various civilizations. Another example is the Lost Abbey Brewery in California, which produces a beer called Mayan Judgment Day, inspired by ancient Mayan ingredients like maize, cocoa, and honey. The revival of ancient beers has a global impact. It not only diversifies the beer market, but also helps in preserving cultural heritage. For instance, in Peru, the revival of chicha has led to a resurgence in the traditional methods of production, which were at risk of being forgotten. As we look ahead, sustainability is becoming a significant trend in the craft beer industry. Breweries are focusing on reducing water usage, sourcing ingredients locally, and using renewable energy. Additionally, there is a growing interest in non-alcoholic craft beers, catering to health-conscious consumers. Experimentation with new ingredients, such as hemp and adaptogens, is also on the rise. Technology is playing an increasingly important role in the craft beer industry. From automated brewing systems to blockchain for tracing the origin of ingredients, technology is revolutionizing the way beer is produced and consumed. Moreover, AI-driven algorithms are being used to predict consumer preferences and create new beer recipes. As we conclude our journey through the evolution of ancient beers and their modern revival, it's evident that beer is more than just a beverage. It's a tapestry woven through history, culture, science, and innovation. The ancient recipes and techniques that have been passed down through generations continue to inspire and shape the modern craft beer movement. As consumers, we have the privilege of tasting not just flavors, but stories and traditions in every sip. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. May your glass always be full, and may the rich history of beer continue to inspire and bring people together. Cheers!